I'm Cassie, the Clumsy Soaper. Today, I would like to share on how to make a quick soap recipe using the lie calculator at www.mysoapcalc.com. Before we start, I'd like to thank you for joining me again this week. If you are new here in my channel, please consider subscribing and hit the bell notification icon for a weekly soap making tips and tricks, DIY tutorials, or recipe sharing from me. Soap making is my passion, so I would really appreciate if you can join me in my soap making journey so we could learn and grow together. So, let's get started! Now, we are already here at the website. This is my own website that I created and it has a lie calculator and a soap costing calculator. And today, let's just go into making a basic tree oil recipe wherein we'll just follow and use all the default values in the lie calculator. I already made an instruction and it's available in this link. So feel free to read that out. But today, this is just a quick overview just for me to show you on how easy it is to use this calculator. We're at the light calculator now and let's just use grams because that's my preferred unit but you can select according to your own preference. So from there, we can directly go to section 5 and the default amount is 500 grams and let's select coconut oil 76 degrees and let's just say that I selected the percentage and I want 22% so it will automatically calculate the weight needed for that specific oil and then here let's select palm oil 25% and you will notice that the total amount of oil in the recipe is also shown so I already have 47 in total and then Let's choose olive oil and to make it 100, I will need 53% of olive oil. You can add more if you like but today let's just use the three basic oils. And then let's just add it in and then for the fragrance, you can put the ID and it will reflect the ID that you show here. But let's just say that i didn't do anything and just directly calculate from here this is the printout it will auto generate everything for us and i've added a lot of functions here and features So we can write the recipe ID, let's just say recipe ID is quick, so recipe soap maker, let's try it. My name, the Clumsy Soaper, Soap ID, Three Oil Blend. It will generate a recipe code. It will always be different every time and auto generate the date. And then down here we have the quality summary and we also have the benchmark.
it's better that the quality summary is within the benchmark but if it doesn't it's up to you to gauge your recipe because I know that you have your own preferences as well then next we have the fatty acid summary and the recipe summary quality summary and fatty acid summary are calculated values recipe summary some are calculated and the rest are just to summarize your inputs. And then we have the production summary and the curing summary. And then here in the butter, fats, oils, waxes table, you notice that a while ago when we input, we have coconut, palm, and olive. But here, it will, it will reflect that the olive oil percentage is highest so I've arranged this one to show the highest percentage first and then the lowest percentage last so that will help you when you make your labels and also have given you the inky names and if you notice we have blank Spaces there for the actual usage so that when you print this one out you can also write down the actual weights that you used in your uh, recipes or when you make soap. Here we have the fragrance it just says the fragrance because we didn't put the fragrance ID but if you did then it will for example you write jasmine oil it will show here jasmine oil let's move to the colorants you can either type it now or maybe just leave it blank and then when you print it out later you can just write it down and here you either can write the amount in grams or teaspoons or whatever feel free to write down anything that you like there then we have here the additive section. It's also the same. Let's just say that we want to use green clay as an additive or maybe lavender or whatever. Let's just write green clay for now. And then let's use or maybe type 0.5 grams there. We also have a procedure or a note section here. This is a text field. So you can write anything that you want here or just leave it blank. And then later when you make soap, just scribble whatever observations or notes that you'd like to write down. And then the, another good thing about the printout for my soap calc is that I've added temperature control, fragrance behavior and also trace behavior so you can just tick and write down your observations on the fragrance let's say fragrance x accelerated the trace so you just tick the box that says accelerate and then can write down what temperature that we use in the recipe and then whether you insulated the, re the soap maybe you can just write there yes or maybe you need to freeze it you can write whatever then for the trace you can also write whether the recipe is a fast trace or a slow moving recipe then now here is the printout it will give you you can either print this as a pdf or you can print this as your normal paper printout and then down here all that you've written down in the previous page will be reflected here and also all the calculated values I made sure that 
with all the information that they have included it will all fit in just one page and then you can just print this one down and use it as a working copy i'll try to record another video in another time where i will teach you on how to tweak your recipes maybe you can you would like to use a water discount or maybe you want to substitute your water with say milk or another liquid we can do all that in this lie calculator and even if you want to make maybe a dual lie a liquid soap all that functions are available here thank you for joining me today if you enjoyed what i shared please leave a like and a comment below Remember to subscribe and hit the bell icon to keep you posted of my weekly uploads. Until next time, bye-bye and happy birthday to those who will be celebrating their birthdays this month. God bless!